33 floors up, watching London wake up and come to life. Welcome to the Shard. Welcome to Hutong. I'm going to take you on a tour of the restaurant to show you all the intricate details which make it such a special place to dine. As you walk up the stairs from the sister restaurant Aqua Shard, you're greeted by two lions, Meishi, who's guarding her cub, and Fushi, who's guarding the money. In China, one of the traditions is a wishing tree. For over 200 years, people have been tying their wishes to trees in the hope that they come true. The higher you tie it, the more likely it is to come true. One of my wishes have come true today. I'm going to be able to try their signature dishes. Trust me, you're in for a real treat. This is the Red Lantern, where a wooden lantern is filled with Sichuan dried chilies and crispy softshell crab. It comes as no surprise that I order the Red Lantern whenever I'm a hutong over and over again. It's just such a fantastic dish. It's perfectly crispy with lots of spice, but just the right amount and so full of flavor. And one I think everyone should definitely try. In China, lanterns are generally red, a color that symbolizes good fortune and celebrations. You can find these red lanterns all over Hutong. The most striking of them all is this display right here. One of the signature dishes that I absolutely adore at Hutong is the roasted Peking duck. It's served in two courses, the first one being with pancakes, greens, and hoisin sauce. The duck is delicately prepared in the duck kitchen. The chef then brings it over to your table where he hand carves it, and you get to enjoy the first course with the pancakes, and the second course, the duck is prepared with string beans and brought over with lettuce. As always, that was just out of this world. This tea wall right here is made out of two kilogram bricks of tea called Iron Goddess Tea, which is written in Chinese characters over here. Also inscribed is 1949, the year of the Chinese Revolution. People would store their tea like this in the olden days, and whenever they needed some, they would just simply break a little bit off. These antique canisters have got the names of all the different types of teas that they used to store back in the day. There are hundreds of teas, hence the term, all the tea in China. Next up is the Sichuan style deep fried lobster, which comes with black beans, garlic, and fresh chilies. It is such an amazing dish, definitely one that you have to try if you're ever dining at Hutong. The melody of flavors is just incredible. This is the halibut red star noodles, where you've got lots of silky noodles immersed in a Sichuan broth tenderly cooked halibut concealed by the red Chinese peppers. Great presentation, I must say. This is literally the perfect comfort dish. The noodles are so silky, the broth is just full of flavor, and the halibut is just perfectly cooked. I had a fantastic experience trying the signature dishes at Hutong today. The food is simply outstanding, and they're really pushing the boundaries when it comes to Chinese cuisine. <laughs>